react to this. So we covered massing. I'm going to show you guys some editing tools. Uh, some of them we have already talked about. So uh, we talked about how to edit types uh, when you have a wall selected and you want to edit that type, how to do it. The only thing I'm just going to repeat is that always do a duplicate unless you know you don't want to do a duplicate so that you don't mess with everything else in the thing you're drawing. Um, I talked about editing a profile of a wall. So if you have a wall, you can edit the profile and change change the profile of a wall. If your wall is attached to a roof, uh, editing profile with eliminate that attachment and vice versa. If your wall uh, profile has been edited, you can't attach it to a roof anymore. Um, so those we have talked about. Um, the other thing I want to show you, and we haven't uh, done that before, is a new way of drawing roofs and floors. So let's say I want to do a roof um, that is a flat roof on my level 2. So no slopes are defined, and no overhangs. Um, I just want to draw, um, I'll just do it over here. I just want to draw a simple roof form like that. Go to my 3D view. I can see I've made uh, I've made a floor, uh, a roof. Um, there is this tool under modify that I can actually add points and lines to this and basically model that, which is pretty interesting. So um, you can put points wherever you want and you can modify, select them, bring them down or bring them up and that would include um, the points you already have in your roof. So that's this, which is pretty interesting. Um, and you can always go back and reset. You can do the same thing with split line. So you can connect to ends, um, select, move up and down, and get different forms from it. And the same thing for floor, uh, you can do the same thing on a floor and it um, doesn't really matter if it's a roof or a floor, it does the same thing for a form. So um, the good thing is that you can, you can have some fun and play with the geometry of the roof or the floor and you can attach all the walls to it so they will just follow that, uh, that interesting form. Um, uh, that's that. The other thing I wanted to show you guys in some more editing tools is how you can move stuff with dimensioning. Um, it will cover annotation some other time, but a basic thing is if you have, um, that's not parallel, so it doesn't do, let me just copy this over and just do a dimension there. So center to center to center. Um, so you got three walls with a dimension that is showing your distances. So first thing, if one of them is selected, these two other numbers will become blue. So if you change those, your wall will move um, based on the number you're giving it. And if I select that, uh, I can change that to 600 or 6,000. That will do that. The other thing is maybe you want to make sure they're all equal. So there's an EQ. You'll just click on that. It will make them all equal. And then you can lock it. So whatever moves you do, it will try to keep all those equal. And if it can, it will delete. So if, let's say, I just move this in, um, it's not doing that. So a better example, if it's not equal, and if that's, and if this is, um, if this wall is like this, and if that is two meters, and I lock it, now, whenever I move this wall, the other wall will move because it's trying to keep that two meter distance between them. Um, so that's the dimensioning tool uh, that you can equalize and also um, lock information on it. Um, the other thing I want to show, and when you delete this, it will de delete the constraint. So it will just let you know that this is happening. Um, the other thing is under modify, um, if you go there, um, there are a few different things you can do. So as you can, as we have talked about, so if you have something selected, you will see specific items showing up on the right. But on the left, there are things that are there all the time. Um, so first one is create. You can create groups and assemblies of things. Um, 
So let's say I want this to be a group. I'll select those. I'll define them um, as a group. I'll give it a name. Uh, okay, whatever. I'll just give it a name. And then I can copy this. And the same group is being moving or is, is being moved around. And actually, if I show it, if I select it, it will tell me it's group one. If you have few groups, you could switch between groups. Uh, you will switch between window types and, and, and door types. So if I had a different group with different different things in it, I would just select group two here. It would do that for me. I'm just going to show you what that means. So if I had this as group two. And if I would select this and make it group two, it would change to group two. Um, and then if I change something in my group two, it would be applied over here as well. Uh, if I delete that door, it will be deleted here too. So there are all, all groups are instances, unless you go to edit and duplicate and give it a new name uh, and, and, and set it free. Um, so that's the create bottom. Then you can do some basic measurements under modify too. Uh, we can do some view stuff. So you can work on um, what to see and what to hide. Um, and then you can also work on um, how your um, graphics of, of your um, items are, are working in your view. So you can override by element or override by category and give it the different colors of um, the lines, the surfaces, the cut lines, the transparency, cut patterns. So if you wanted to do something uh, for an object or for a category, that's where to access it. So when a wall is selected, you can go there, um, override by category, um, surface pattern. I can say um, I want it to be solid fill and I want it to be um, that color. Say OK. And now all the cuts through the walls, or all the surfaces of the walls, are showing up as that. Um, and then some some light weights and other stuff under view. The other thing is the modify tool, um, and that's pretty straightforward. So if I just ungroup all the groups I made, they don't need them anymore. Um, if you wanna uh, trim, that's the tool with TR. If you wanna extend. Um, trim, you can select and continue. So those are the tools. I'm not going to spend a lot of time just explain what they are. Tell me if you have any questions, but they're very straightforward, similar to anything else you would use. You can put gaps in or cuts in. It will just cut that. You could also do a cut with a gap. It will make a gap between the cut it has made. Um, if you make a cut and you try to move this around, it may do this or it may just follow because the two walls may be connected for some reason so that's why these two are different um, you can mirror you can offset you can align um, let's say I want to align I don't align that wall with this wall and join delete delete and now these two are aligned um, and then move and, and copy um, you also have scale and array things. So if you have something you're drawing, you don't want to move around, you can pin that thing. It will be pinned and you can't move it because it's pinned unless you unpin it from here or from there. You can also do arrays of things in your drawing. So if you have a window here, you want to do an array. Uh, you can say I want five of these. I want to select the second one or the last one. So if I select the second one, I will just put it there and it will just continue going. And then uh, fix a group, create a group type, OK. Um, so that's how it works. And you have two different types of arraying. If you, um, OK, if you select the last and you say I want five, you just first and the last, and I will divide that. It could be group and associate or not. If it's not group associate, just each of the elements will be arrayed. If it's group, then uh, it will give you some more information to edit later, some more um, access to edit later on. So maybe later I decide 
not five four, then it will do it for me based on how it was defined. Um, the geometry cut, we will see that in, in massing and family editing, and then the rest is very standardized stuff. The only thing that may be different is when you do a copy and paste. Let's say you select the door, you make a copy, uh, and then when you want to paste it, it gives you a few options. If you want to uh, paste in the same place, or you want to paste in level two, you can just paste it there. It will just show up in the same place. Or if you don't paste it in level two, if you go to level one, select your door, copy that, go to level two and say paste in the same place or align to current view, uh, it will show up here. So that's the modified.